Miss Lee is back with a new video on how to use your graphing calculator to solve quadratic equations. You can solve quadratic equations using your quadratic formula, or there is a, for me, it's a shortcut that I use on the graphing calculator. Also, you can use the same technique for other types of questions where you have two big long equations on one side equal to a big long equation on the other side. Using your graphing calculator, it saves you a lot of calculations so that you can just put it on your graph and find your solution right away. Right in front of us, I have an TI-84 Silver Edition emulator on my Windows 10, so I'm going to try to see if I can use this one to help us use, to help us solve this problem here. You see in front of you here, I have an equation. You might have seen this very familiar kinematics equation. I'm using a dummy equation, putting some dummy numbers into the equation just to show you how this works. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go and plot this on my graphing calculator. So if I press the y is equals to, you might have seen this in math class, you press the y equals to, what we do is we're going to put y1 is equal to 30. So I'm put using one side of the equation, I'm putting that into my y1. So I'm going to type in my 30. Then I'm going to go down to y2, and I'm going to plug in the other side of the equation, which is 25t plus 1 half negative 10 times t squared. Instead of t in this case, your graphing calculator is going to recognize x. So how does that look like? I'm going to press 25, and see this little xt theta n sign here on your graphing calculator? You press this one, it gives you the x. You add one half, which I'm just going to type 0 0.5, which is one half, times in brackets, negative 10, because sometimes our acceleration's in the opposite direction, times our x, or you don't have to write the times, you can just write x squared. And there you go, you may have caught my mistake, I forgot to put the square over there. Anyhow, that is what our equation looks like on our graphing calculator. If you graph this right away, you might not be able to see your graph because your window is set to a minimum of negative 10 and a maximum of 10 units, okay? So you can adjust the range and your domain for your graph or I'm lazy, I go to zoom, I press zoom and I'm going to go down to zoom fit. Okay, if I go down to zoom fit, I press enter, then I get my graph, then what that does, it, it zooms in and out according to what my equations that I put into the graphing calculator. After I zoom fit, I am going to go to the calculation function here. So I'm going to press second calc. I go down to number five intersect, and what this does, and press enter, this allows me to find where my two graphs intersect. So if I have over here, 30 is equal to this, I'm looking at where these intersect, this is going to give me my value of t, okay? I'm moving my cursor over to the right side, closer to where I think roughly where the graphs are going to intersect. You might get a s situations where you have two intersection points where you have to move your cursor closer to the one that you want depending on the question that's being asked. So I'm going to move my cursor along this way and I kind of, that cursor is roughly in the right region. First curve, that's roughly, I think it's the, f the one on the top, I press enter, it asks for a second curve, it's probably the one on the bottom, I press enter, it says guess, you keep pressing enter, and it does this calculation. Oh, there we go. It says x is equal to 3. So what that means is on our, in our quadratics equation, our t, one of the solutions is t is equal to 3. And with the context of physics, this is roughly, this is probably 3 seconds, okay? So this is how you can use your graphing calculator to solve physics questions especially the intersect function of your graphing calculator is especially useful. Put that into good use. There will be other videos that I upload that will I'm going to use the same technique to help solve the problem as I'm walking through it. So this is sort of like an intro video to the other ones. All right, good luck, have fun, and I'll see you next time.